In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up short.io to create redirect links on your own domain. So the first method I'm going to be using is the root domain. So that is the domain with nothing before it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to app.short.io and then it'll ask you to create an account. Once you've done that, you need to click add domain and then go to add my own domain. And in here, you need to type the domain that you want to use. So in this case, it's gonna be ridercraky.ml. And because we're doing this on the root domain, we need to leave the first part blank. So we don't need to type www. and then click add domain. The next thing it's gonna do is give you two IP addresses. You need to copy the first one and then log into your domain provider's website and go to the DNS management page for your domain. And in the first box, which will either be called name or host, you need to type the at symbol. With some providers, it may be a full stop or just a case of leaving it blank. Whichever one works for you is what you need to do. And then you need to set the type as an A record. And then in the target section, you need to paste the IP address that we copied and then click on save. And then once you get a page saying that the record was successfully added, as you can see up here, that means you've done it correctly. So you need to go back to short.io and then click on domain settings and then scroll down and you should see a warning saying that it's inactive. If you click on refresh, it should say that it's pointed to the correct IP address. Once it's been verified and it says that it's active, that means you've done everything correctly and you can start creating short links. So if you click on branded links at the top, you can paste a URL up here. So I'm gonna type google.com as an example, press enter, and then it will automatically create a path for the link, but you can change that to whatever you want. So if I just change that to be Google, and then click on save. You'll see here that our new link is ridercraigie.ml forward slash Google. So if you copy that and then paste it up here, and then as soon as you press enter, it immediately redirects to that website. You can also click on domain settings and you can configure the main page redirect. So what that is, is the main website here, ridercraigie.ml. At the moment, it just shows this page that short.io put there when you've not set anything up. And as you can see, it says at the bottom that we can set this page to redirect wherever we want. So I'm going to click on configure and I'm going to set this to go to my main website, which is ridercraigie.com. And then click on confirm. You'll see here that it says that it's now set up. So if I reload this page, you'll see that it redirects straight to my own website. The next thing you can do is set up non-existent redirects. So if I were to type ridercraigie.ml slash test, you'll see that that link doesn't exist, so it doesn't go anywhere. So you can change that to go wherever you want. So I could set that to be apple.com, press enter. So now if I go back and reload this page, that does work as well. So if I go back to branded links, you'll see the two links that we've created. So the next part of this video is going to be showing you how to set up short.io on a subdomain. So it's the same process to start off with. You click on add domain and then add my own domain. And then here you need to type in the root domain and then click on this is a domain I already use for a website or blog. And it will actually give you a few that you can use. You can also click on custom subdomain and then of course type the one that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to choose link .ml and then click on add domain. And here, as you can see, it's pretty much the same, except it's not an IP address. So what we need to do is copy this link here and then go back to the domain provider. And then in the first box, you need to type the subdomain that you decided to use. So in this case, that is link. And then you need to change the type to CNAME. And then in the target box, you need to paste the link that we just copied and then click on save. And now the record has been added. And from here, it's the same as before. The domain is working with short.io and you can create redirect links. So if I go back to domain settings, and then click on refresh, you'll see that it says it's active. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and thanks for watching.